Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I can't help but wonder, is Trump going to do any jail time at all related to this uh, case that he's going through uh, right now. So we're struggling to do any jail time. We'll see how that's going to go. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. So we're going to talk about Donald Trump. What else? But I just want to know, is he going to do time in jail? Is he going to get locked up? Is he going to be incarcerated? I mean, the Secret Service has worked it out. So it will be interesting to see if the cards can tell us if they think he's going to be incarcerated at all. Listen, this is a, a very interesting uh, box of cards. And um, if you stay around to the end, I'll tell you more about them. And they're pretty cool. So I hope you do stay around to the end. Because you'll miss, you'll miss um, uh, a good little uh, story uh, if you don't. But anyway, so the question is, is he going to get locked up? God knows if any one of us, any one of us, had done anywhere near what he has done through this whole debacle, we'd be in jail. We've been locked up a long, long, long time ago waiting for all this to come to fruition. Um, nobody can deny that, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But before we do anything, let's have just a moment of meditation. I haven't used this deck in a while, so I hope I don't forget how to uh, interpret some of these cards. They're very cool to use. So Donald Trump, um, Mystical Medleys, this cartoonish kind of deck, just seemed like it was perfect for this question. So Donald Trump, is he going to do any actual uh, time detained in some way? Uh, let's do it to two cards. Uh, no, let's do three cards just for the heck of it, just to kind of get the mood of what's going to go on in this situation for Trump. So this isn't about him. It's about uh, what might happen to him. First card, Donald Trump. Is he going to get locked up at all? We've got the Queen of Wands. You know, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And the Queen of Wands is going to have her way. She's going to put something in motion. So uh, this seems, if that was the only card I picked, I'd say yes. But is he going to get locked up? So the Nine of Pentacles, well, this represents who Trump is. The Nine of Pentacles is being really, Pentacles are value, Sometimes can be money, but this is the, the very privileged person. You can see this uh, goofy looking flower here, which could be Trump as a matter of fact, those eyebrows and that scowl, but it has uh, a little parrot uh, on his uh, arm and uh, is just laden with all the wealth he could want. So it's a privileged person. So is he going to get locked up? We've got the Queen of Wands, Actions, who is uh, determined to have her plan carried out, but she's uh, accompanied here by this privileged person. And then the last card, is the Queen of Cups. Cups are like hearts. Hearts can be uh, emotion, heartfelt situations. It can be compassion. And the Queen of Cups, so you have an equally powerful Queen of Compassion compared to this Queen of Action and then centered by this person of privilege. So it looks like there's going to be some compassion here. If this was the only thing I drew, I'd say probably not. He's not going to get um, any lockup time. But let's do a more detailed uh, draw now on Donald Trump in general. I mean, this is the first um, criminal trial, and it's about um, him paying money uh, to hush up a, or having money paid or somehow being involved with the scam of hushing up this porn star. And uh, that could be, and then reporting uh, what he paid for that uh, incorrectly in his taxes. So it doesn't sound so bad. But, um, so that business part is bad, but the intention of it is what's so bad. And I wonder how they're going to incorporate that into the trial. Because you say, oh, you didn't report your taxes properly. But it was towards such a, a fraudulent end. So is it not just business, is it also campaign fraud? So is Trump going to suffer some significant consequence for this uh, criminal uh, trial that, that's on, that we're hearing about right now? 
and uh, I'm going to do full Celtic Cross. So that's 10 cards. We're going to do six on that first question. Is he going to suffer some significant consequence in this uh, criminal trial? And then the last four cards will be to see if it will keep him from becoming the president. I think that's a good plan. So let's uh, get six cards uh, right now. So this is one, two, <laughs> three, four, five, and then right here is six. So that's six cards. Is this criminal prosecution that's going on right now going to uh, hinder uh, his attempt to become president? The first card up is the Ace of Cups. So cups are compassionate and emotional, and the Ace of Cups is having a great big uh, dose of that. So this is looking good for Trump in the center card. That's the identifier, the signifier card. But the challenge to it now is the King of Wands. Actions, plans, for a movement. The King, going to make things happen. So um, any compassion uh, we may have uh, for him or they may be scared up for him is going to be challenged by his plans to keep moving forward. That's very interesting. So um, compassion we might have to not punish him so much is challenged by the fact that he wants to move forward and be the king. He wants to be president. The basis of all of that is this page of pentacles. So the basics of this, and pentacles are value, worth, and so the page is just a very little amount of value. So this whole thing, could it be this trial doesn't carry so much weight in uh, denying him that big trophy of being the president? The past of this is the Seven of Swords. Of course it is. Swords are um, truth, justice, rules, and law. And the Seven of Swords is, is a miscarriage of justice. It's a uh, thievery. And that's what he did. He carried away. He abused. He tried to get away with uh, that truth, justice, rules, and law. And it's in the past. In the sky of this is the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is interesting because this is about illusion and delusion. And it's a compassionate situation. This has been able to manipulate people's uh, what they are seeing, what they expect, by all these illusions in here. And that's what's in the sky here. Wow, that's very interesting. And then the final card here for this first part of this uh, Celtic Cross is the King of Cups, King of Compassion. So what do we got here? So is uh, this trial going to keep him from being president? Well, he starts out with a great big ace of uh, compassion. It's challenged by his wanting to move forward as his king of wands to become president again. And it's all underscored by this page of pentacles. It doesn't have that much weight. And then, but it, uh, in the past, it was, of course, all the thieving and the, and the miscarriage of justice that he's uh, been involved in. And then the seven of cups up in the sky is the illusion and delusion that he's hoping to use some of that to make what he wants to happen come true. And then this first part ends up with this king of cups, with cups is compassion, and he's a king. So he is very much pulling at the heartstrings of those people who are following him and thinking that he uh, doesn't deserve to be treated this way. Last four cards. Is this going to keep him from being the president? So this laid out kind of where he's at emotionally and where the trip is right now. But is this going to eventually anyway keep him from being president this trial? Um, the very self of that question uh, right here is this Nine of Wands. Okay, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And uh, these are all the battles that he's been through already. But look, he's got a little signifier here. It's telling him, oh, keep on going. Take that plan you've got and just, just, just keep going. Okay? The um, environment that that energy is in, then, is right here. Justice, of course it is. Justice is what's uh, uh, holding court, literally, over all of this, okay? So he's been embattled. Something's telling him to keep on going, but justice is in the game here. The hopes of the fears for all of this, then, is this two of swords having to pick a choice. Wow. Yeah, is it having to pick um, a choice of which way to go, but who's making the choice? Who's making the choice of which way to go? It's justice, as a matter of fact. And then the final outcome for uh, whether uh, this uh, trial that's going on right now will keep Trump uh, out of the White House. It's a nine of swords. It's a nightmare. So it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. you got truth, justice, rules, and laws up here just, you know, giving this guy a nightmare. So I'd say it, it will be hard. It's not saying no, but to get the nine of swords is a pretty strong end of a cycle. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so this is a very interesting uh, deck that I have now called Mystical 
medleys of vintage cartoon tarot. This is such a cool deck, and I've had it for a little while. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely new, but I've had it for maybe a couple, three weeks practicing with it. And uh, the box is amazing. It's a good, sturdy box. You'd expect uh, you got a nice uh, perfume, uh, perhaps, in a box like this. And this uh, is artwork by Gary Hall. And uh, this is uh, published, I presume, or distributed at least, by Sterling Ethos out of New York. Okay, very interesting minute. What happens is this box opens from the bottom. Okay, so you flip this open and then you have this uh, creature right here, which I've forgotten the name, but I'll see it in a minute because I'm going to look at the guidebook and tell you about it and then bring up the example of it on my phone. But uh, so this is how you open the box from the bottom. That opens down. This slides out. And then now what you have is this inner uh, case with a very faint kind of watermark of this uh, animal on the front. If you look inside the case, and I hope you can see it, uh, inside there is a little uh, star, which for me is temperance, okay? Or it could be the star card itself. It's got two cups, a cup in each hand, which is typical of the star card, finding that balance. And uh, so that's, I love it when they've gone to the trouble to include some little secret uh, treasure for you inside the box. Now, inside here, if you take these cards out, inside this box, we have the sun, okay? So the sun card, I hope you can see that too. Okay, and there's a little watermark on this side. There's none on the other side, and I'll show you why that's important. And the other thing that comes with this card, or uh, this deck, are two extra cards, Sad Squirrel and Happy Squirrel, for divination. And the guidebook tells you how you would divine those, and uh, that brings us to uh, the guidebook. So again, this little creature is a very beautifully done kind of book. And um, so if you gave this as a gift, or if you were getting it as a gift, you'd feel very uh, glad uh, that you got it. And it has a nice introduction here, which is speaking to um, Gary's um, um, inspirations uh, to come in, uh, into this. Uh, uh, and it starts out, like so many good stories, it all started with the devil. And that's what that uh, uh, animal uh, signifies here. Um, I've always been fascinated by magic, the cult, and the imagery of the tarot. I own several decks from the fully usable traditional ones to more modernistic, uh, modern artistic ones, and have always dreamed of creating my own in some way. Now, I want to find the name of this little devil here, and uh, so it's going to take me just a minute to read through this, uh, because, gosh, I can't remember Baphomet. Okay, so the creature that we're looking at, then, is uh, the Baphomet. That's what this guy is. So if you put these together... Right here, you see that is the cartoonish uh, depiction of a Baphomet. And let me show you what a Baphomet is. Let's say define uh, Baphomet. And we'll get a picture here. So this is the Baphomet. And this is a, a deity that supposedly the, um, the Knights of the Templar would have... Um, I don't want to say worshipped, but it had an occultic interest in. And so the first card that Gary Hall created was that uh, Baphomet. And then from that, the rest sprung. So let's see. How am I going to do the rest of this? Yeah. Um, now, the cards themselves are a good way. They're uh, easy to use. They fit well in your hand. But the fantastic thing is how beautiful these cards are. This artist, Gary Hall, has a kind of ropey uh, quality to his art, kind of a, uh, a rubber hose kind of a, an effect. If you look at like the arms and uh and so that's his uh, style. And, um, and so the cards are very interesting. It took a little bit of uh, studying them before I felt comfortable using them for divination. Okay. And there's no reason because they do pretty easily, uh, they're pretty recognizable as the Rider Waite system. But still, for whatever reason, maybe I was just so distracted by the artwork. Um, I spread the cards out like this so that uh, if you don't get to see a lot of cards, then at least you've seen them here. And uh, you can decide. Uh, if these are uh, cards that you like and would like to use. I was always curious to see more than just a few cards that a reader would uh, pull out during the presentation. So there we go.